Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Unicorn Overlord. Last time we left off, it was a clown fiesta. It was, it, it was a clown fiesta, we can say that for sure. Uh, I think... I'm probably... Let's see, we have these two liberation battles. That one's level 18, though. This one's level 16. I'll probably explore a little bit. Ideally, this would be a shorter episode, because uh, I actually came down with, like, a tiny sickness or something. I don't know if I have, like, a cold or what, but, uh... So, if you hear me cough or anything, obviously I feel well enough to record, but I'm a little out of it. Uh, but yeah, if you hear me cough or anything, that's definitely what it is. Uh, alright. Let's check some things. I can definitely finish you off, which, uh, will give me access to a ship. So that's definitely something I want to follow up on. You the one who made our house all nice again? Thanks a bunch! Alrighty. Looks good to me. You won't find Armor find Headman's... Headsman's Axe. Execution. Attack a single enemy, inflict passive seal, inflicts a death blow if the target is at 25% HP or less. Hmm. I mean... I feel like most of the time, if they're at 25% HP or less, they're gonna die anyway. Like, the only thing I can think of that would have enough HP would be like... A... Hoplite guarding, if they're at low HP? Hmm. White Knight's Great Shield activates after an ally is hit by an attack. Share HP. Okay, it's that thing again. Hmm. I do think I want to buy some more gauntlets. Just because they have been using a fair bit of those. Um, same goes for a beret. And then I'll buy these two things just to have the unique equipment. Alright. So, Provisioner... Sectreve Rock Salt. Salt from Drakenhold, known for its complex favor. Cooking. More cooking things. Play a mine. Yeah, so let's see. We have hourglasses, we have the smoke nuts. I can buy... some smoked nuts from you. And I do think I will. These holy herbs are quite good, too. <clears throat> okay. Your coin? We'll hold off there for now. Let's make sure we station our guard. And let's board the ship. Let's go to the... Secluded Shore. So where exactly is this on the map? I'm guessing in the ocean to the right. Monument to the Anamoy. Uh, is there anything else here? Doesn't look like it. Or what is this place? Oh. Evidently something we're going to be coming back to later. Bye-bye. Alright, so... Got a ship here heading for the secluded shore. My dad said I can play outside again now that scary people are all gone. Can't wait to see my friends. Okay. What exactly is this? Elaine and Leia. Yeah, sure. What you got? I've been curious, Leia. How did you come to enter Gilbert's service? Through my duty to the royal court, of course. Even at a young age, I often attended to the late King Hugo. Is the role of your family, then, to maintain the brilliance of Drakenhold's crown? No. If I may speak plain, I never knew my parents. When I've been told, I was left at the gates of Castle Soldraga as a newborn. Forgive me, I didn't mean to assume. As the story goes, King Hugo found me out there, crying and alone, and took me in to be raised by one of the court's many wet nurses. He treated me almost like his own daughter at times, brushing my hair and doing whatever he could to ensure I, was felt, I felt comfortable. It's only through his kindness that I stand here now, and that of Gilbert, who has continued that habit in the years since his father's death. I sincerely can't say if I even hail from Drakenhold to begin with. Yet I know one thing for certain, I owe my life to the royal family. Understandably so, yes. Thinking about it now, I find it hard to tell if it was sympathy which motivated King Hugo to take me in, or if he was purely struck by a passing fancy. But my stance on the matter will be forever unchanged. I know how you feel, Leia, at least to an extent. Much of the reason I was impelled to survive was because I had to do so for the sake of my lineage. 
matter how hard it was, I wished it was love and only love. Yet whatever the reason, the fact still remains that I was saved, and in light of that truth, I have nothing but the utmost gratitude. You've wisdom beyond your years, my prince. Know that I shall ever hold that same gratitude deep in my heart. Okay. There we go. Got some honors. Um, I can continue up there, and that's probably where the game wants me to go next. But, okay, but we can continue over there, too. There's more... stuff... to see down here, though, so I should... go investigate all of this, yes. Like, look! Here we go. A concealing cloak. And then this gets me over here. Hi. Those that are left from the Fruit Militia are staying here to help govern their people. It's a good thing you're the one who came to their aid, Your Highness. A magnificent victory, Your Highness. This land will surely prove useful in the days to come. Oh god, I hate fighting you. Our shamans can use offensive curse to lower an enemy's attack power. Hence we parallel with defenseless units who struggle against more powerful strikes. Perhaps a mock battle might prove our worth. Where's my... Wow, I'm really surprised this group doesn't kill. This is actually the best one. I think... I could win. I think I just need to... Maybe swap out Sharon? The, the lack of buffs is gonna be unfortunate. But let's put, like, Berenice in. Is that enough? No, because, yeah, the Sharon buffs were too strong. Hmm. Joseph? Nope. Yeah, I mean... I mean, Joseph's not even that much stronger than everybody else at this point. Yeah, the, uh... The Sharon buffs were too strong. We're just, like, barely not killing them. They're surviving with, like, one HP. Is there anything I could do here? The only thing I could really think of... Let's see... Yana... What if I swap you out for, like, Berenice? No? God, how are they surviving? Elaine? No... It's not really gonna help. Aubin? There we go. That's what we needed. Cool. Yeah, shamans are annoying. Thank you for the battle, my prince. If you're not aware, the afflictions we bestow can be cured by a cleric's pesky refresh skill. As such, clerics provide a natural foil to our weakening curses, so always be aware of your opponent's formation. Wyvern knights pose quite the challenge for cavalry like myself. Not only are their attacks especially potent, but we can't guard their hits. Yeah. I think I want to try and hire somebody. Let's see. Ooh, another arbalist would be nice. I do think I want another Arbalist. We need some more units soon anyway, so... Definitely not defensive. You don't need accuracy either. Uh... King? Crit rate? Initiative? All-rounder? Where's offensive? Yeah, I'm probably gonna go for offensive. And then... Probably just more offensive, yeah. I don't like the pink, really. Let's do... let's do that. And Dorothea is your name. Let's stay calm out there. There you go. I can't thank you enough. Welcome, Dorothea. Okay, and then I could get another shaman, but we already have another shaman, actually. I think we'll stop that there. So, as far as promotions go... Uh, who do we want to promote? Um, I like the idea of promoting Sharon, but I also kind of want to promote one of my warriors. Hmm. Do kind of want to promote one of my warriors. Let's do Morden. All right, Morden, show us what you got. Ah! Drinks are on me. You gain the strength to hold that thing one-handed. Beautiful. Alrighty, that's fun. 
So, and then uh, Sharon's pretty good, I find. I really, really like Sharon. I wonder if I'm stronger than Lady Ocleese. You always say that. Stop it. Uh, okay, so we have 37 left. I can promote one more unit. Uh, Clive seems like a good pick. Clive does seem like a very, very good pick. I'm gonna go Clive. All right, Clive, get your get your full on lance instead of a spear. Ah, oh, you look so cool. On my honor as a knight. There you go. Cool. All right. So that's done. Uh, hi. My toxic bolt skill lets me inflict poison on my enemies. That means it'll work on just about everyone, even if they've got a heavy heavy armor or a strong constitution. Wanna have a taste? Yeah, you're super dead to the squad. Yeah, that was more fun than I'm used to having these days. By the way, enemies will take damage from the poison right before they use an active skill. Poison someone with low initiative at the start of battle, and it'll hurt them before they've even had a chance to move. Okay. That is all well and good, and yeah, that's where we kind of came from there, and then that's the bridge. I wonder if I have enough Sedronite Stone for that now. Might go over there and check in on that in just a moment, because we've gotten a few more as we've kind of done some missions and stuff like that. Seize the garrison as our own, your highness. Thank you. Cornean Liberation seems to be patiently building up their army a few soldiers at a time. In hindsight, we ought to have done the same. You and I face a common enemy, so I'm setting aside my prejudices and supporting you with all my hearts. At least one of Dragonhold's princes is still putting up a fight. Not sure where Ludwig disappeared to, but it's good to see Gilbert still hanging in. Here the Prince of Cornea is the one leading their Liberation army. Now they're out helping all of Everith, not just Cornea. It's really something, I tell ya. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to talk to you again. In the blink of an eye, years of Zenoir and cruelty gone. Okay, more bream. All right, what's the provisioner got? Uh, more of these, please, and more smoked nuts, please. Those are quite useful. Holy herbs are quite useful too, but they're expensive. Knight's medallion. Ooh. Physical defense, physical defense plus 10%, and guard rate. Yes, please. Acrobat shoes. Impetus stance. Grants the user plus one AP and minus 50% attack. That is interesting. That is interesting. Much obliged. Hmm. The only thing I'm not crazy about him is I can get the Carnian Pendants or whatever pretty easily. This is an a, a passive ability that activates at the start of battle and it's limited and it has a negative effect associated with it. It could be good on like a Shaman though, specifically because they don't need attack. Or if I put it on like Travis, for example, because if I just wanted him to use the Toxic Throw. Like, Travis's damage is not where he shines. Um, I do think I will buy some more of these silver bangles. Um, just so I have the better versions. So, cool. Uh, I do have all of the stuff I need for this. Thank you. And that is done. I know what to say other than thanks. The little town might just bounce back because of you. Ready? Let's station a guard, Liza. No one will get by on my watch. There you go. All right. So now that we've done that, um, can't go over there like that. So we're just gonna go over here this way. Gonna run all the way down here to get to it. All right, bridge. Do I have enough for you? I could have just checked in my inventory, but... All for Morden. Looks like you got the materials! Uh, we should hold off for now. I actually want to use Keytra. Because Morden repaired the last one. Should be plenty. You ready? Let's repair it! Bonk, bonk, bonk. 
Lost 30 Cedronite, and that's that. Glad I could help. Hey, got big rapport for that. That's why I chose you instead. Do Evolution. Thank you. Lane and Keitra have a rapport conversation. Magic power, eh? Osh or Yana. Yana's definitely winning in the magic power department. Oh, uh, well that's because I promoted you, so we'll give it to we'll give it to Osh. And then do evolution. I'm gonna give it to Elaine. I mean, like I ideally like Elaine is somebody that I feel like Especially now that you're a mounted unit, I probably want to have in like at least on the field at all times, just because your passive is so good. You get extra valor points, that's so useful. Heard much about your Liberation Army, young man? Here, use the swell. Oh. That's it? No Masamune for us. Guard efficiency plus 25% and base PP plus 1. I mean, it is good, don't get me wrong. Like, that's a phenomenal shield. But, uh... I thought it'd be something a little bit wilder. Okay. Well then. Uh, ooh, that's something we could do. Uh... I could... Yeah, we could, um... Do a little bit of the Colosseum. Let's, let's explore a little bit more, but this might be an episode... Where we do, like, some exploration, some Colosseum battles and stuff. We'll see, though. If I run into a story mission, and it's not too wild, I'll do it. Liberation's army's even bigger than I realized. Glad to see it hasn't gone to your head. Thank you. Okay, so we need to get, uh... Back up here... This is level 16, which... I mean, we are... Mostly level 16 these days. Yeah, we have a lot of level 16s in here. If there's, like, a lower level story mission, I would want to do that first, though. So let's teleport over here, and walk up in this area. Alright, so yeah, we could walk over here, there was a character here earlier. Hi. Ah, oh, there you are, yeah, Gilbert, it's Gilbert. Thank you for coming, Elaine. Castle Sol Drago rests not far from these walls. There it is! Hello. The hour to reclaim Soldraga has finally arrived. This fortress stands nigh in the castle's very shadow. Are you certain the enemy hasn't noticed our movements? Such is not a concern. Zenoira! What is the meaning of this? <laughs> you needn't be alarmed. These men here belong to me. I was about to say, for a second I freaked out like Elaine did, and I was like, oh my god, is... Is Gilbert heel turning on us? No, no, Gilbert is not heel turning on us. <laughs> These are spies. <laughs> I realized it pretty quickly, but damn. Yes, your highness. I am Herman, loyal servant and commander of the King's Guard. It's an honor to stand before you. I believe an explanation is in order. But of course, since even before my father's passing, these brave warriors have infiltrated to Neuer's ranks. From what I gather, many of Cornea's citizens chose to defect in the face of this perpetual war. Unfortunately, Drakenhold was not spared that same fate. Some such deserters had long harbored grievances against the Crown, while others were among our most devoted vassals. And Herman here bravely donned the traitor's guise in order to learn the reason for their cold defection. I can also vouch for him myself for what that's worth. In truth, our covert recapture of this fortress would scarce have been possible without he and his cadre's subterfuge. That, and we've procured specifics on Zenoira's positions within Castle Soldraga. The fiends remain ignorant of our loyalty even now. We shall strike with a pincer maneuver. Herman and his company from within the castle walls, and our armies from without. You need only give the word, and we commence our march. Okay, I can't wait for this to go wrong. It's gonna be really wild and wacky when this all goes horribly wrong. Send ready to join your mar join your march at a moment's notice, Elaine. Simply say the word and it is done. Main quest, what level are you? Seventeen. We might want to level up a little bit before we do that. I wanted to 
I wanted to do this. Salmon? Oh, yeah, until the area is stabilized. Yeah, that's going to be a massive battle. It's also level 17, so... Little bit outside of my level range currently. So why don't we explore up here a little bit? Oh yeah, no, that's that's right. We can't go we can't go there right now. We need to activate that from Soldraga's side, so if that's the case, then let's teleport over here, see all that we can see over here, and then I'll decide what I want to do. Hello. Bye. Alright, free stuff. And yeah, like what's down here and stuff? Not seeing anything down that way. Thought there'd maybe be some sparkles. There's a stone. Wonderful fortune, we've come across a new sigil. Now then, so let me to activate its power. Oh. Oh, this is one of these. Sigil trial, moderate two. Okay. Can't use that to level up, it is level 15. Cool. Okay, I can't get across there to that. Oh, there's where one of those things is. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, we can do a sigils trial, I guess. Um, Arbalist and gladiators, yeah. So I mostly just want to do this so that we can get the points, basically. So, let's see. I mean, this looks like it's going to be a pretty simple one, all things considered. Uh, I don't think we need to show this. I don't think we need to show this. I'm going to use the catapult. If anything wild and crazy happens, I will, I will of course show that. But I think I can just knock this out real quick. There's not going to be anything too different happening here. Move forward in the light of the divine. Uh, Sharon just got a level up. That's what it looks like. At once. Okay, there are enemies hidden in the ready. forest. I should point out. That is the secret. Um, I should have expected that. At your service. But, uh, yeah, now we can, uh, clearly see that's a thing. Understood. So it's not quite as clear as it looks, but, uh, I can take some of these enemies out. With, like, the, uh, catapult here, for example. Like this dork. Ground. Chloe got a level up. And Keen Call. Activates for an ally attacks active. Grants 100% critical rate for an ally's next attack. Hey, that's really good. It is a limited one, but... What a disappointing level up otherwise, though. 1 HP. It's here. Level up for Magellan. The there were some, uh, gladiators hiding in the forest right here. They're about to be sorted out, though. Uh, there's also a mage, but we're doing very, very well surviving against them. Alright, this, uh, should be... Oh, well, it's barely not it. The archer survives with 10 HP. But, uh, now they're dead. Good, good. Sorted. Alright, and then there's three level ups for my griffin knights. Just so Hope good. Me more for this. All of them together is just so scary. Seven military treatises, and we are good. Alrighty. Sorted. Not too bad. So, in the future, that might be how I handle. That was like kind of a glimpse of what I'm talking about with that kind of stuff. Like, I'll show interesting stuff, I'll show level ups and things like that. But, uh, it's not something, you know, we need to see absolutely all of. Because, you know... We, we've kind of got a grasp on the game now, we know what we're in for and everything, so... Fascinating, we've earned a reward for our first success. Given everything we know, I should hardly be surprised. Yep. More sigils are out there. So, that has been taken care of. Got some more stuff. There's a divine shard hanging out over here. But yeah, I think we just need to work up this way now. I believe. So... Yeah, this is the one I could go ahead and take care of. Liberation Army sets out to defeat Edamon and uh, free Vansberg Town. Yeah, let's see what this looks like. 
take a peek. Liberation outpost is captured. Capture the enemy command post. Yeah, I mean, I guess this one is just, yeah, we're gonna have to deal with like the traps and stuff. This one's a little bit bigger, so I'll show this one. But uh, yeah, I'll probably pick and choose like which ones I need to show. Some of these liberation missions, there's like five units and it's not really too much to worry about, so. Uh, who do we want to send in, or is the question. So we have some archers uh, to worry about. Okay, this might actually finally be a mission where I'm not using the Griffin Knight group. This crew, though, might still go and do some things. And then Renault's unit. Let's see, I think I need a unit with an archer of my own. So let's uh, just swap out. Well, Aramis, you two actually could work. Never mind. Let's just send in Lex's unit. They will know what hit them. So we will. Can I squeeze by you without you hitting me? No. Okay. Just thought I would check. You know, be a little cheeky. All right. So what else do we want? We do need someone. That is going to hurt. We do need someone to, uh... To deal with the barricades. Let's see. And that's also a bunch of cavalry coming my way. This crew can handle it. Need something? There you go. Go get them. And you go get them. Uh... We should be close enough that when we run into each other, we can swap. Yeah. Show me what there we go. Bye-bye. Good hurt. stuff. And... Yeah. This... This is where I definitely want... Elaine's unit out here. They will be ours. We, march. we need to kill that one unit, and once we do... Uh, I'll be good to kind of take care of things. Suggest you watch your step near that steel trap, your highness. Such a snare will immobilize any who treads upon it, rendering the victim vulnerable to enemy attacks. And naturally, a flying unit such as my own can bypass it without worry. Yep, mobilize a unit. You can destroy them using offensive valor skills. Yep, that's about what I expected. This one's mine. All right, now that you die, we should have enough valor. Good. To just cap it. Now you can use a heavy swing on this. That looks good to me. And now these squads can start walking in here. Uh, you're not great at taking out that team. Oh, I just realized I don't even have a third character in Elaine's group. <laughs> Alright, Elaine. Go back and withdraw now that you've kind of done your thing. Uh... Yeah? Hmm. We need some archers in a group. One for the good guys. I could just send in, like, Gloucester and crew, though. Hmm. Another step on the... I will now that we've last. taken those out... Yeah, that'll... that'll do. That'll do. Uh... Would be nice to get you up here. And then, Bruno, you can start walking up here, too. We just need to be able to get rid of the, those things. Hello. Oh, God. Uh... Yeah, that's that magic and uh, the ranged assist. <sighs> that is annoying. And that unit came out right as I was getting ready to take them, too. I mean, I can kill you with this. Don't get it twisted. I seize this victory but, uh... A minor we're gonna need to move Your back here. Um... Yeah. Bruno, in fact... Withdraw. I think I'm gonna get, like, a ranger to come in there and do a little something-something. Sure 
Because you're not going to fare very well doing that. Someone piss them off. That they did, Lex. That they did. Uh, so yeah, once you withdraw, what next? I'll have enough stuff. You are moving a little bit slowly. I do have to worry about my time here because we're wasting it a lot with the constant uh, withdrawing and everything. So, let's see, who would be the best crew? They are archers. Thing is, the Franz unit has like crazy, yeah, mobility and or, or quite crazy initiative rather, and we can just fly over them. So let's go take them out. Uh, it's gonna take kind of a. Uh, God, they are really pooping out those those fucking dark knights quickly. Uh. Move there to assist. There we go. Die. God, that magic assist still reaches me from there? Jesus Christ. Am I like barely in the zone? I think so. God, I'm half like, do I just send you... Um... 186? I might just send you at it and just take, take it out this way. Just not even bother killing the other enemies. We will take big damage here, but do I have one of the things? I do have a Wind Fairy's Charm, so I'm just going to use that. It'll it'll get us through the battle. I'm fine. Those assists are bad. I should have used a, uh, whatchamacallit, but once again, Valor is still, like, a problem, and I needed the heavy swing to kind of clear the other stuff out, so here we go. Yeah, those assists are scary, but I needed the heavy swing to clear out the barricades, so no I wouldn't have really had very many Valor points to finish it anyway. I would have been running out of time anyway if I wanted to kill all the enemies. Like I said, I needed to do too much repositioning there. So, it's fine. We didn't kill all the enemies, but who cares? Alright. Here we go. Beautiful. We get five renown for it. So yeah, you can see the renown difference if you don't like capture everything and kill everything because I feel like I definitely get more than that for those fights normally. But the main thing is we freed this town. Ten honors. Leading by example. Completed 60 quests. Here we go. Thank you. You actually fought them off? Liberation Army is just as formidable as I'd heard, perhaps even more so. The Northern presence to the north has all but vanished, as far as I can tell. Maybe they just retreated for now. I should stay alert just in case. I keep telling the lady next to me to get out of here while she still can, but she refuses to listen. All three of my sons got conscripted into the war right when it started. The older two went in the battle a day, one day and never came back, but my youngest is still out there. I'm gonna stay right here until he comes home. Now one will see this town protected by their own strength, I promise you that. Cool. Ooh, we have another mining spot! Hello? Ooh. That is exciting. Okay. Cost the entire desert to get here, and the only thing I found is sand in my boot. Let my mind go totally blank while I'm digging. I'm bound to find something someday if I keep it up. I've been this exhausted in all my life, I tell you. Maybe I'll just take a little break. Stuff that don't come up in just one swing tends to be the most rare. Digging about more than just kicking up dirt. There's an art to it. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, I will probably get to this in just a moment. We do have a few free mining passes. Let's, uh, can't do the delivery. I need more lumber. Don't suppose you could give me some lumber over here. Uh, I love corn ash. Yeah, thank you. Thank you kindly. Sedronites. There's the scorpion carving. So, how many of those have we found? Cockatrice and scorpion. Is that really it? This was the Reaper. Okay, so the last one 
It's probably like up here somewhere. So we're getting there. Give me that stuff. Give me that. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's unsullied lumber or timber, rather. How you doing? Since Gilbert is gathering his forces over at Castle Sol Dragon Station, hit me here as a lookout. You want to take a uh, Pritzelase back? Get head on through this gate, but allow me to share a rumor I've heard about the fortress first. Apparently, General Ed's helm is reviled even amongst his soldiers as a cruel oppressor of ally and enemy alike. If there lies any weakness in Pritzelase's defenses, perhaps it rests with him. Okay, you're telling me I can go through here right now. Just ahead is Fort Pritzelase, Strakenhold's most story stronghold. Legend has it its massive iron walls were built back when Cornea and Drakenhold weren't on such friendly terms. In truth, my prince, I have no experience in approaching the fortress from this side. I suggest we send a scout to assess the situation before marching forth. Sounds like just the job for me then. See what I can do. Thank you, friend. It is quite big. This is going to add this to the map, so. So. All that talk about the man ruling the stronghold by strength alone, and he's too weak to even keep his post. Not so loud, will you? It doesn't matter what I say, everyone's talking about it. The great general's getting hauled back to Zenoira. Came out of nowhere though, I'll give you that. You've even got us packing up his stuff. Suspected treason, wasn't it? <laughs> Old Featherhead's made more enemies in this life than he can even keep track of. You want my bet? I'd say one of his own had a bone to pick with the guy and started making him out as a traitor. Um. Um. Yeah. To your post. Now. Of course, General. Forgive me. Talk shit, get hit, I guess. It's just your aide ordered us to help organize your luggage, so. And for what? I'm not going anywhere. Of course you aren't, sir. A thousand pardons. Try to paint me a turd coat, will they? It's as preposterous as it is maddening. Still, I can't ignore the Emperor's orders forever. And if I'm fated to have an audience with him, I wouldn't dare arrive empty handed. Okay, so there's a future side quest for us. Cool. Come, tell us what you've learned. Multiple enemy strongholds and a grim array of stationed weaponry. A fitting defense for a key strategic position. And there's one more thing, Princess. Go on then, out with it. The general charged with holding the bastion is Geeth, Knight of the Feathered Crust. <laughs> a name I hoped to never hear again. He was among the first lords of Cornea to defect when Valmor showed his true colors, your highness. He is a man of immense ambition, willing to cross any bridge, speak any word, or slay any foe in order to get what he wants. What's more, there are rumors in the fortress that he's to be sent back to Zenoira before long. Then perhaps we merely must wait until such events come to pass. Hey, I recognize that name. The Knights of the Rose died by his hand. Woof. Run, Princess, please. I beg you, my lady, be rid of this place and never return. Fools, throwing yourselves before my blade one after the next. Also, one weak little pup can escape. Fine then. It matters not how many of you wenches I have to cut down. One or a hundred. I will see it done all the same. The girl's head will make a fine gift for our new emperor. You yeah. Must live on, princess. So you're just like super I evil turncoat. I mean, it makes sense that they're trying to make you out to be a turncoat since you were one in the first place. One of the common things that people talk about with like, yeah, if you're if you're gonna if you're gonna be a turncoat, the people that you turncoat to might not trust you as well and might be ready to drop you at a moment's notice. Seems the fortress is well defended from any and all points attack. We must proceed carefully. Okay, what what level is it though? That's what I'm more curious about. 
Level 16. Actually lower level than, uh, the battle we have, um, over here. Yeah, that's level 17, so... Should probably do this one before that one. Let's get back to Vonsberg. Uh, and... Still don't have the lumber that I needed, yeah. Did I check the armor? I did not. Manolith Buckler, Magic Wall. Grants the user a buff that negates one magic attack or one affliction. That's fun. Uh, yeah, sure. Grab that. Much obliged. Leaf Brooch is pretty good, too. Much I'll obliged. also gr grab that. And I think I'm gonna go mine for a second. My wares won't and buy some smoked deal. nuts, of course. Alright. Let's go hit up the mine. Oh, well, looks like you got yourself a free mining pass. You wanna use it? Uh, yeah. There we go. Got my first treasure map. Beautiful. I also have a mega dig. Beautiful. And I can finish this one. Time's up. Copper ore, Sedronite stone, and Dragonhold treasure map. Ooh, this has been a simply fantastic run that I've pulled off here. Um, and we got another map as well. Oh, I could have spammed my mighty dig there at the end, but... Yeah, four copper ore, six Sedronite stone. I also got an hourglass. I don't know why it doesn't show it there in the listing. But I definitely picked up one of those as well. Alright, got another treasure map there. So, we're doing pretty well in the treasure maps. I've gotten one basically every single dig. Okay, that one gave me a whopping nothing. Uh, I got four copper ore and six Sedronite, so... Uh, I, d I realized the reason it didn't display that I got the hourglass, I was thinking it was the item, like silver hourglass. I thought I got that consumable. No, it's just the time extension. Uh, there's my fourth dragon hold treasure map. Not too bad. So we just have one more to get. That one was a whole lot of nothing. More nothing. More nothing. More garbage. Garbaggio. Think this is it? These things are usually the only ones that are this high. So that should be it. No, it was a divine shard. No. Never mind. Yeah, it needs to be like 280 for the maps usually, I guess. I mean, at least we got another divine shard. Oh my god. Immediately, right after that last clip, here we go. There it is. I was beginning to doubt it existed. But there's my Drakenhold map 5. I find sometimes the hardest ones are like when it's like basically right under your feet and you're trying to adjust to hit it and you just you just can't line it up right like you keep barely missing it it can be a little finicky sometimes in that regard but this is remarkably similar to uh, Chocobo Hot and Cold from Final Fantasy 9 which I have spent a lot of time on but when I did that I was playing, uh, well, I was a kid for the first time, and then the next time I was playing it on mobile on my phone, which had a, uh, speed up feature, which made it significantly more bearable. All right, we are done. No, uh, I was talking to you because you had a prompt, but. All right, quest log. There we go, we have a ton of garbage. So, Drakenhold, over there. That's fine, so let's get over it's like this general area, yeah? So let's let's go a treasure hunting. So cool. So right around here, quite a rather map, you can find something if you investigate the marked region. It's just like kind of a open area. Uh is it this? No, not quite this area. No, it was. I just I just walked over it. Because I was sitting here, I was like, come on, that's gotta be it, right? So yeah, this was totally the spot. So Miracle Fruit, Master's Gauntlets. What exactly does that do? Um Master's Gauntlets. Where are you at? Masters, Masters, Masters. No, I'm scrolling right past them. There they are. Nimble Fighter, Evasion plus 10. 
Activates after evading an attack. Grants the user plus 20% physical attack and 30% critical damage. Effect stacks. Okay, that's neat. That would be good on like a Wyvern Knight. Travis, I don't really look to to do damage that much, but would also be good on Travis, obviously. Um, I also realized it's way easier to do the treasure map bullshit if I do this. So now we go down there. Down to this area. And yeah, it's like right in front of a uh, this. Yep. Hey, do of illusion, twin dragon shield. That's another do of illusion to throw. I don't want to put them all on a lane. So who else do I want to put that on? Yana's quite strong. Fran. Adol. Mm. It's hard to choose with these things, you know? I'm gonna give it to Miriam. I really, really like Miriam. Alright. That is done. Now, number three is over here. Which I should be able to just fast travel to. Good stuff. So. Quest log. Number three, down by the coast. So that's like right here. Yep. Knot of Ruin. Ooh, that's an axe. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't check and see what the shield did. Uh, Twin Dragon. Burn immunity and freeze immunity. Ah, okay. I've had this item in, in, in an RPG before. That's nice. That is good. Um, Axe, Knot of Ruin. Minus 30 HP, minus 10 initiative, but base AP plus 1, and it does 22 damage. Yeah, I mean, that's scary. That is scary. That's a, that's a, that's a risky item there. But absurdly powerful, obviously. Would probably be good on one of my Griffin Knights, especially with their, like, incredibly high initiative thing that I have going, because they'll just get their initiative, you know, brought back up to unbelievable levels. Okay, so that's right up there. Let's put that on the map. So, that should be, like, probably right about here. Uh, so... Oh, that's nice. So if you pin it like that... Ooh, okay, cool, cool, cool. I thought it would just add a pin to the map. If you pinned it, but no, what it more so means is you gain the ability to just bring it up whenever you want to. That is extremely nice. Okay. Love that for me. Uh, oh yeah, what did you need? Mind if I... Here you are. But it's not quite enough. Uh, I don't remember how much you actually want. Uh, so we need to get... Up there... God, does that really require going all the way over to this way? I guess it does. I thought I would be able to get access to it from over there. But no. Okay, so here in the forest. It's like the back part. Over here. There it is. Got it. And I'm guessing the last one's going to be in the area I can't get to. Um, let's use this do of illusion. How about... Bruno. Enjoy, Bruno. Alright, I'm imagining I can't do this last one. That is my guess. I can do the last one. Okay, pin that. And it is over there, so... We go about to right here. Good. Okay, and it's, uh, I can see some building. From there. So, like right here? Is this it? Yes! Wonderful! I get a precious rod. And, uh, whoopsie, I did get another new item there. Uh, there's the Manolith Buckler... Salamander Ring. Burn immunity, max HP plus 5, and magic defense 8. That is cool. Precious rod, limited heal. 
Restore minor HP to all allies above their limits. Potency increases with fewer allies. Maximum plus 200. Can heal up to 150% above maximum HP. Oh my god, that's super cool. That is neat. That is neat. Okay, that might be one that goes on Sharon or something, because that's quite a good one. Alright. A uh, bit of a weird episode. We really didn't get to do much combat this time, but we have hit an hour. And at least I got a lot of this, like, maintenance kind of stuff that we needed to do out of the way. So next time, we can do blossoming, uh, blooming, er, blossoming, blooming rose on bare rock. Which will open up this area, and then we can do Heir to the Dragonlands after that. And then we're just about done with Drakenhold. So then I guess we'll be moving to Elheim. Cool stuff. So, alrighty. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more. <laughs> <laughs>